Every Nation Global Family, welcome to day five of our 2022 prayer and fasting. This is a time that we all seek God's face together as a global family to start the new year. And I believe that we are loving it all the way and having a fresh encounter with God during this time. You see, my prayer is that 2022 will be a year of great manifestations of God's power in your life. Our theme this year is Abide. And the topic of our devotion for today is the Word of God is a sword. You see, we're taking a text from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, reads, For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, designing the thoughts and intentions of the heart. You see, throughout the Bible, the Word of God is described with different images. As we have seen in our previous devotion, that the Word of God is referred to as bread, as seed, as light, as mirror, hammer. However, this particular image of the sword is one of the most powerful description of the Word of God. You see, at the beginning of chapter 4, the writer speaks about a Sabbath rest that God asked for us, his people. While this Sabbath rest was offered to the Israelites, their unbelief and disobedience kept them from entering into the rest. But now, this Sabbath rest is still available to us. But the writer warns us not to take it for granted by entertaining doubt like the Israelites did. So then what should we do? We should trust and obey the word of God, knowing that it has the power to accomplish what it says it would. You see, in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, it says, My word that goes out from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the things for which I sent it. You see, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, is not a physical sword, but a spiritual sword. As described in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You see, the sword is both a defensive and an offensive weapon. When we as children of God use the word of God skillfully, it produces results beyond our comprehension. So, number one, the word of God is living and effective. The word of God is not dead or dormant. It is alive. The same word that transforms and saves us from our sins also has the power to turn around impossible situations. You know, Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Number two, the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. You see, a two-edged sword is very effective because it can cut in any and every direction it is used. But God's word cut deeper than any man-made sword. Its effect is felt everywhere. It can be felt in the heart of the speaker and the hearer. Nothing can withstand its power. Number three, it has the ability to penetrate hardened hearts to open their eyes to the truth and to give them an opportunity to accept the gift of salvation. Number four, the word of God is able to deflect every lie of the enemy coming against us. 
Number five, it exposes and judges our thoughts and intentions. It helps to discern between what is of God and what is not of God in our lives. You see, ultimately, the goal of God's word in our lives is to transform us from the inside out. So my prayer as we conclude this is that 2022 will be a year of transformation. That we will allow the word of God, we will embrace it, we will love it, we will live it out so that the word of God can transform us from inside out and that we can come out with great testimonies of the faithfulness of God. I know we are going to do that. I know it's going to happen in our lives. God bless you.